Hello guys, so we will just try this new model of Dipsic, which is Dipsic R10528. By the time this video, it was released two days ago. Now, to try this, we have this prompt that we're gonna try. This is not a directory prompt. This is just a simple custom blood theme that we will prompt using Dipsic R10528. If it's able to create as beautiful design using this free model of Dipsic. So what we're gonna do, we have set up this local WordPress, which we will be using to from our single custom team maker from using Pline. So I'm just gonna go to Pline right here and we will paste directly from here to create as a custom team to see whether this free model can create as a decent team. So I'm just gonna copy this Dipsic R10528 and set the provider here as open router. And we will paste this one right here. We will use the free model. If we are not successful using the free model, there is another version here which is this Dipsic R10528 as well, but it's costing us 2.18 per million token, which is not that much. But for now, let's try the free version to see whether it can produce decent blood layout. This prompt right here is available in the link below. So you just need to populate this configuration right here, which I'm gonna do quickly. So our topic today will be about soap making. So this is going to be our niche and I'll just grab some keywords here in Bitrep free keyword generator. So let's say this one, where can I buy YE for soap making? Where to buy essential oils for soap making, which is a good article right here. We're gonna have to create articles so that we will see how it will render the blog post page. So let's go ahead and fill up this folder name will be. So just gonna name the folder name as this one. So making Dipsic R10528. So we know the model that we are using, but I will put underscore because folder name shouldn't have under, shouldn't have spaces. And the site title will be so making guide and our team name. I'll just have it same as the folder name. So we don't get confused. Now we're ready to prompt this. So I'll just copy this and head back to our client. So make sure you selected the model that you want to try right here. And let's paste this in. Let's go. Now while we're waiting, I'm just gonna create three articles right here. I'm just gonna copy this. So I'll head to article in a generator or you can just create them manually using ChatGPT or Clon. Uh, but for me, I just wanted to make it really quick so I can go and try and I will have the featured image. So I'm just gonna paste the three articles right here. And then let me create the featured image. So I'll just tick yes. So I will have a SEO friendly article with a nice featured image. So I'm not gonna auto post it because we will just copy and paste them manually, these three articles. We just want to see how team that we're creating gonna render the blog post. So let me generate this now. So while we're waiting for these three articles, let's check the progress of our prompt. So you can see it's thinking. If it fails, we're gonna use the paid version of R1, but mostly this free version will work correctly as we requested. And look at this guys, Dipsic R1, the free version. So see here, we didn't spend anything, completed the task and let's observe the files that it generated for us. So this is our team right here and these are the required files. Now let's go ahead to our WordPress. Here in our WordPress dashboard, I'll just go to Teams and you will see this is our new custom team that we created. Now let's activate this, it's working. Now let's visit the homepage and look at this guys. It's pretty good actually. Oh, look at this. It's nice for a free version. Now, I just want to see how it's going to render. So look at this. Even the accordion, the AQ section, it's actually working. I want to render. I want to see how it rendered the post page. So let's go to Article AI Generator and let me refresh. This should, this should be completed. So you can see it's completed. So let me view this article. So we have you where to buy soap making supplies. I'm just going to quickly paste all this to the post section here. I'm going to go to post dashboard go to post and I'll create these three articles right here. I was not able to auto post them because it's in my local, but if it's already live, your website is live, you can directly auto post using article AI generator. So let me just quickly post these three articles and let's see how it's gonna render the blog post page. I just published the first post, so let's have a look how it's gonna render the blog page. Doesn't look that good. Post page is not looking great, but that's fine. We can easily vibe code this and show exactly how it's looking. So let me just quickly take a snapshot and go back to Klein right here, paste the screenshot and just tell Klein. So I'm just telling Klein that the single custom template, it's broken and I also pasting the reference image. So let's have a look. And you can see right here, Klein completed the request and let's refresh the page if it's gonna fix this. And there you go. 
I think uh, this is okay, although there are some formatting still need to be fixed, but you can see the latest post right here, and we have the section here. It just need to add padding, but this is pretty good for a free model. And let's go to home page. I just want to have a look how the latest article section look like. So here is the latest article section. And in ChatGPT, I created a logo and this one, the hero section. So let me just download and save that right there to see whether it will add beauty to our homepage. And see, I added the hero section. So he can prompt ChatGPT to remove the text right here if you don't need it because we're already doing this one, the blog website. We will rename it as Soap Making Guide because that's the name of our website. And we will add some statement here to describe what our website all about and uh, this is what i like the question and latest articles right here so i'm just going to quickly add more articles to see how this will render so let me copy all the other articles that we generated so this one is so making profitable so i'm just going to view this and again add this featured image all right so i just published the second article let me refresh and there you go so there will be 20 articles here that will render once we have 20 articles so this is how your homepage gonna look like and we need to also save the icon. So I also asked ChatGPT to generate the logo for us. So our website will have a logo too. So that's how simple you can create your custom theme using this free model of DeepSeek R1. So again, it's not that bad for a free model. You just need to fix the padding right here. It's lacking the padding because it's using the full width. But the way it rendered the latest post here, at the side and you have this next and previous post at the bottom so which is pretty good and decent for a custom theme using this Dipsic R10528 the free version it's actually better than the when i use the O4 mini high it's better than O4 mini high from what i serve that can go ahead and try the same step if you need a custom theme so you just do that just prompt this it's free i suggest you tap up at least five dollars here in your open router account that is to avoid having the rate limit issue because even if it's free, so you see here, we spend zero dollars. And if you don't have any reddits in your open router, you may experience some rate limit error. So that's it, guys. So I hope you guys get something from this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.